repentance, which means to turn from our wicked ways. God says in his word to hate the things that God hates and to love the things that God loves. If you want something, and I, I, I do have I do have a gospel track with love on it, Sorry, and we'll, we'll read that. Sorry, we'll read God, that right now. God loves people. Which says, oh, he does. He God loved us while we were yet sinners, yet he, God died from us. Are. But he does not love you how you are. Oh. God says in Psalms 5.5, 5, Psalm 7.11, and 11.5, that God hates all workers of iniquity. That God is angry with the wicked every day. Okay. Yes, Whatever exactly. It's, it's not what I think. It's the you word pick, of God. You pick your numbers. I got my numbers. It's you know, Revelations through Genesis. Genesis to Revelations. All scripture is given by inspiration to God and we are to obey it. And this is disobedience to God's word. Uh, God is love. God left his heart in San Francisco. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not assist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at evil, but rejoices with the truth. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You want this one? Yeah, Yeah, that's a bundle of sticks ready for the fire. You know that, right? It's a bundle of sticks ready for the fire. Your blood is on your hands. Just gave it some time. It's a vapor of time. And then the judgment. <laughs> Reprobate. Yep, the gospel is foolishness to them that are perishing. Hey, security, can you help this lady through? She wants to go to this perverted pride parade. I believe in all of it. And all of what? What do you mean? In God and the Bible. And, and keeping his commandments? Yep. Hey, Amen. What do you think about this? It's, it's weird. It is weird. But God's given the world up to their sins. Go preach the gospel, man. Obi-Wan Kenobi is our only hope. Come on, man. It's good news. Love San Francisco. Yeah. God is love. God is love. San Francisco. I don't fear God, though. That's the problem. It's the beginning of wisdom, actually, to fear the Lord. Do you get stickers? No. Ooh, Throw them on the ground. Fear God? They yeah, wish there were stickers, man. I'd be more than happy to give you one. <laughs> But then it wouldn't look right if you stuck it on something and then you lived your lifestyle. My lifestyle, what's that? Reading books. Reading Just books. one book. Books. It's a library. Books. The Bible is a library of books. 66 oh. books, actually. With it's over 40 books. authors. Wait till you see those other religions. They'll really blow your mind. Well, the other religions are false religions. They'll lead you to hell. I mean, no one engaging with you other than me. Why are you trying to... I mean, seriously, you just do your job, bro. Oh, he's doing it. You don't it. have to tell people to not engage with me. They probably if they want to engage with me, allow them. Actually, it's free will, right? No, don't tell him Why what are you to trying do. to stop I'll people's you free will? Do. Like you're trying to stop me from preaching the good news. I'm the good news. Hello. Well, your news is good for the world because the world is a fallen place. I know. And they it's hate, they hate the Lord. <laughs> It's not new. I have a question. Um, Go ahead. What is judgment day? Uh, 
uh, that's where we're all going to stand and answer for our sins if we don't give our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we're created in His image and for His glory. That's why, maybe not now, but when you're a little one, when you did something wrong, you felt guilty. And then when you get, we, we get older and we start living in sin, God hardens our heart. But if God is convicting your heart today, then uh, it's be wise to give your life to Him because when God gives you up, you become a reprobate. And I'm just here to say, I want people to be saved. I can't save nobody. No one paid but God, attention but to God's you word does not return void. You know, so you know, it's seriously. I mean, I do care about you. I mean, I care about your soul. I'm not worried about people's feelings. I don't care about people's feelings. I care about their souls. And love is not an act. You know, love is not a feeling. It's an action. And but when it the act, it can be a feeling, but it has to be under God's um, rules, so not this lust. That? Well, the Bible says that. It, Everybody knows there's a God. What if that's just something we don't believe in? Well, then you don't, I mean, you don't have to believe in God. He gave you a free will so you can freely choose whom you're going to serve. Yeah, so then if we... But if you don't serve God, he's going to separate you from his this life, this kingdom. But what if we just don't believe that? It doesn't make it go away. It's still going to happen. But what about all the other religions? How do you know that? Uh, they're false. Right? Because they're false. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. How do you he's know the that? one we keep time to. He's the one that came down. From heaven emptied himself of his glory and became a man it's 2023 after what and there's more uh books written about that than anything else in the world anything it's magnified above all things i can't make you or you know get you to believe the word if i could i would but that's the work god does in you but you got to um make a step towards him he's not going to make a step towards you but when you make a step towards the lord he will make five steps towards you so to speak and then you keep going. Like me, I used to live in this. I used to support and not support, but I used to have friends. I got friends that are gay, you know, but I'm not here to be friends. I'm here to share the gospel and to preach repentance. You don't like your, those friends anymore? Oh no, I love them. I love everybody. But I know what separates us from God. If I was to support, these, support this, it would be hate because this is what separates. Our sin separates us from God. So I don't want to do anything to separate anybody from God. Now, whether they hate what I'm doing, because the Bible says in the last days, that what is good is evil. And that's proof right here. And what is evil or what is good is, is evil. And people are flipping me off and mocking me just because I care about them. And I want them, I want them to give their life to the Lord. That's it. <laughs> but um, these people, they, sometimes they don't want to give their life to the Lord. I know, but there's one person out there. God says to go out and find that one sheep that went astray. And that's out of hundreds. The 99 thousands but it's not my job to save god does the saving but god's word says that his word does not return void so when i'm out here preaching the gospel it will not return void it's either going to save you or it's going to judge you and when you stand before god or bow before god uh you're not going to have any excuses like today will be one of them where you had an opportunity to give your life to the lord and you did it it's all right to love these people or everybody not, i don't mean just these people i mean everybody but it's not okay to be partakers of it. God says, because God says in his word, do not be partakers of the things of this world because the world is a fallen world. This is darkness. We must turn to the light, the light of the gospel. You know, the word of God is, it's a living word. What about the light of loving whoever you want to love? Um, it's all right to love people, but not sexually. Sexually it can only be between a man and a woman and their marriage. And then they're to have kids to multiply the earth. You know, the, for sin, a man's uh, punishment is that he'll work by the sweat of his brow all the days of his life. You know what the punishment for women are? Yeah, it's the pain of labor. And you know that a, um, abortion is actually a murder because life starts at conception. Did you know uh, there's a light that they found when they were, when the, as soon as it, uh, the, 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 that cell and that, in the egg and the sperm unite and they come in, that there's a light that comes on? That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit? Yes. God is forming that baby in their mother's womb lovingly and then they're born a baby's not guilty of sin but we're born into sin but once that child gives in to sin um, then they become responsible but you know there's many babies in heaven and but they're waiting for when Jesus Christ comes to this earth there is no God and, and reigns and reigns on this earth and reigns on this earth for a thousand years and those little babies that have been aborted and are killed or died from SIDS or whatever it may be they're gonna grow up